Hi guys, it's Thomas here from CO2Base.com. Welcome to the latest CO2 review. Today we're going to check out the 26th report of this year. But uh, for those viewers who are new to COT or commitments of traders, I advise you to check out our guide video to the weekly review or the more detailed what is COT analysis video. Okay, let's get started and check changes in uh, commercials positions. So uh, we had a 46% uh, sell signal in wheat, the Chicago wheat. So we're going to open that chart first. Uh, reminder, I'm not going to show you all the charts, but of course you can check them at cotbase.com for free. Uh, right away we can see that not long ago we had a similarly large sell signal in uh, wheat, which resulted in prices uh, uh, going down. So who knows, this might happen again. Uh, large speculators became net long, that's something to be aware of. Okay, moving on, let's check out the feeder cattle. A buy signal there, 26% uh, change in commercials positions. Uh, let's open the five year chart, have a look at that. Uh, right away you can see that uh, there's a pretty decent correlation between small speculators and commercials. So I think what we can easily uh, see here is that uh, a lot of uh, commercial participants are actually uh, considered small speculators in this market because of the uh, them not reaching those reporting limits that uh, uh, make them commercial size. So um, it's interesting to see that whenever uh, small speculators were relatively uh, stronger, uh, more optimistic about the market. It, it had a pretty decent uh, effect on the prices. So uh, we should be expecting something similar to happen over here. So I would say this is a maybe a good opportunity to go long. Um, okay, let's move on and check out the COT extremes and large speculators. Okay, we can see that we had a 479 report extreme situation in silver. So we're going to open that market. There we go. And right away, look at this uh, extreme in a longer time frame. So on a five-year frame, we can't you can't find that uh, signal. So it was uh, way back before that. Uh, but we can also see that small speculators are very pessimistic about the market. So this COT picture over here tells me that it could be actually a good possibility to go long from here. The other good uh, situation here is if you look at uh, the chart, uh, we have some pretty good support levels over here. Uh, so it could be a good risk reward trade if you, if you take this long opportunity. Uh, moving on to the soybean oil market, uh, we had a 384 report extreme situation over here. Uh, not long ago we had uh, uh, also a, a, a large uh, signal. I'm just going to open you the five year chart, see what that tells us. So whenever uh, commercials were at such levels, it had a uh, effect on prices. Uh, so I'm expecting prices to go higher from here just by looking at this COT picture. Uh, let's have a look at copper, another metal market. There we go, we had a 154 week uh, extreme situation over there. Opening the five year chart, it's going to be even more visible. So uh, even on this chart you can see that whenever commercials were relatively high, prices did go higher. So again, it's correlating. Uh, picture with uh, silver. Moving on to the COT extreme and small speculator is going to be our last uh, tool to analyze and opening the last market today, the Canadian dollar where we had a 199 report extreme situation. Uh, opening the five year chart, it's pretty visible that yes, small speculators are very pessimistic about the market. So uh, suggesting prices to go higher from here. So that's all for this week. Thank you for your attention. Again, for those viewers who would like to see a more detailed analysis, uh, check out all the markets and a more in-depth uh, analysis, just uh, check out our subscription service at cotbase.com. Uh, you can find some uh, new COT report types, uh, CIT, TIFF, disaggregated, uh, other data types, and a lot of other cool functions. Check out our highlights uh, page maybe. So uh, again, uh, appreciate your attention, and I hope to see you next week. Have a great weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.